is Heather McKay from McKay's Photography. Just want to show you uh, how I decide what photos go into black and white and what photos stay in color. Well, I get this question a lot thanks to my couples who always want to see a photo in color and also just from newer photographers who want to know my thought process. So I'm editing Annie and Chris's wedding photos from the Inns of Aurora in the Finger Lakes of New York. So here I have some of the most difficult lighting of the day. So I thought I would just jump right in and show you my raw photos uh, unedited from this wedding day. So first of all, I have to edit down and then I need to color correct and decide what goes in black and white. And sometimes those two things go together. So for example, the tent at the Inns of Aurora has a really crazy color temperature because the floor of the dance floor reflects into the ceiling of the tent, which is white, and then reflects all that warmth back onto people. So you can see the tent is fairly white in my camera, but everyone's faces are really warm. You can see, for example, here we have these two photos of uh, their band, and one of them I converted already to black and white, and the other one I converted to, or I left in color. So you can see here, the uh, black and white, in my opinion, just looks so much better. Yes, I can take out this magenta in his face, I can bring contrast back to his suit, I can bring down these highlights, but first of all, is it worth it? I'm going through, you know, 2,000 photos that I need to edit down. Uh, is it worth it to spend the time on this photo bringing all, that, all those little issues back? No. My answer is no, it's a band member. So even though this bride and groom knows the band, generally speaking, they don't know the band. So why would I spend all that time on a photo that may not go anywhere? It probably won't be in the album. It'll probably ne never be printed. And this guy might not ever even see it. So generally speaking, I would just delete this color one and convert and then keep this black and white one. The other thing is, first of all, band photos. Jazz, think about jazz musicians. Those were all like these really rich, dark, contrasty black and whites. So for this particular subject matter, I feel like black and white also makes a difference. Then uh, lastly, I just, black and white looks better for people in general. So if it's a candid of a person, back when I photographed weddings on film, I had one camera with color in it and one camera with black and white. And as a professional photographer, that's your job, that's my job, is deciding what photos are just better in black and white or color anyway. So for me, I still photograph weddings just like I did when I photographed on film. All of these photos would have been just taken in black and white film before, back in the day. So yeah, of course, I can like color correct all day long, I can change the white balance, I can fix everything, but look how dynamic this photo is because she's the brightest part of the frame, everything else is dark. She looks amazing. She looks amazing. And so for that, I would just do all of these in black and white. I just feel like you just jump right to their face. Instead of noticing different colors people are wearing, different patterns, things get really, really distracting very quickly. You know, you've got this red floral pattern dress that someone's wearing against this green, against this gold. So is the color helping? No. Maybe potentially in this one only because then the whole point is that I'm taking a picture of somebody using an iPad at a wedding. But even that, does the blue help? No. Does the blue match the rest of the wedding? Not really. Is there anything color-wise in these photos that's adding to the story? No. The only thing I would say is here, I'm photographing through a group to add a frame and to block all that light. And so she's wearing red. So she actually jumps out more than here because she's wearing red. So this one I'll leave in color. And then I'll get rid of the black and white. Now in this one, she's kind of, the singer is the same tone as everyone else. Whereas here, anything wearing red, anybody wearing white, it, that's where your eye is going to go. So that one I'll probably keep in color and I'll get rid of most of the rest of these. The color is pretty good in this one. I mean, he's wearing a white suit and a black shirt. Skin tone's a little pink, but I can adjust that. But again, is it adding to my story? No. If this one's in black and white, it's going to, she and her face and her energy is just going to pop. So I, well, let me see what my under looks like. Oh, it gets rid of all the distracting elements and all you really see. When it was in color, 
I saw his hand as much as I saw her face. And now my eye goes straight to her face. So I'm going to do black and white for that one. And let me just do another black and white here for this drummer. So again, it's a little hot, a little bright. I can bring back all those highlights in the background. I can crop. I'll probably crop out this pole. That's very distracting. I'll zoom in on him. And actually, I might as well just show you what that looks like. We'll go right into develop. And I'll crop him. So you can see. So even though I liked the ruins being behind him, and I really like the other musician in the photo, I think I'm just going to zoom right in on what he's doing and not worry about the rest of the picture because I have a different photo of that guy anyway. But now that looks so much better. He just pops. And that is the gist of how I decide. I mean, again, what's going on in this next photo? You know, I mean, obviously there's some cropping to be done, but where is the color that matters? Is there anything here, color-wise, that's helping me? No, not really. But now, if I just turn it to black and white and crop out that speaker, now you see mom partying hard, which is awesome. And that's what you want. So anyway, that is the Cliff Notes version of how I decide whether something should be in color or in black and white. I hope that helps. Have a good day. Leave some comments in the, if you have a question, and I will address it next time. Thanks.